A new federal proposal could affect how you get food for your family. If it goes into effect, hundreds of thousands of Tennesseans could lose their access to food stamps or so-called SNAP benefits. New at 10, News Channel 5's Emily Luxon talked with a local nonprofit leader who says this could be a huge blow to low-income families, Emily. Well, that's right. Opponents say this would take food away from people who need it, possibly keep kids from getting free school lunches and create more work for state government. But supporters say it's a smart financial decision because it would save taxpayers $2.5 billion a year. At the Martha O'Brien Center in Nashville, the food bank is a busy place. We're open every single day to help families with food security. If a new federal proposal goes into effect that would end access to food stamps for 3 million Americans, center officials believe more middle Tennesseans would be forced to turn to food banks for help. So we are talking about cutting benefits or interrupting those benefits to children, elders, and those who are disabled. The Trump administration wants to close a so-called loophole that officials believe leads to abuse of the system. The current law allows people who receive welfare benefits to be automatically enrolled in the food stamp or SNAP program. Under the proposal, a person's income and assets would be reviewed to see if they qualify. Officials at the Martha O'Brien Center believe the change would hurt people struggling to make ends meet. The reality of it is if we want families to rise economically, we need to be providing supports to help them do that. Under the proposal, kids who currently automatically qualify for free lunches would also have to apply separately for the meals. So any cut in food stamps is very, very detrimental to child health, which has a cost of its own. While they wait for a decision, officials at the Martha O'Brien Center plan to reach out to partners to make sure the food bank is fully stocked so they're ready to help more people if needed. Now, nothing is official yet. The USDA still has to approve this, and the proposal could also face legal challenges if it is approved. Reporting live in the newsroom, Emily Luxon, News Channel 5. Emily, thank you.